shit and uh, then, you know, look. We gonna get that shit back. Most definitely. Yo, yo, this your boy Marley773. That's your boy DT. It's your boy Aurora Drew. What it do? Already, man. Y'all already know we been holding down from Apollo. My man Epifanio, man. Salute to y'all brothers out there. Salute, salute. Uh, Welcome to the motherfucking show, man. Y'all already know what it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's good, what's people? Up, what's good, y'all man? Right, what's good, entrepreneurs? Yeah, man. How y'all week been, man? Shit. How been cool, bro? Yeah, shit been cool. Yeah, we've been, yeah, we been, been, been smooth and shit. How the, how the, um, I should say, how the, how the guidelines been treated, because that's, that's what niggas about to be living like in a minute. Yeah, it's definitely the, the guidelines yeah. coming back, protocols yeah, coming back. Yeah. Mandates yeah. and shit. Yeah, that shit coming yeah. back. Mask back on. It's bike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's bike. It's definitely yeah. It's definitely back. Uh, uh, man, for real. Uh, I yeah. mean, shit. I, I've been in protocol mode since the shit happened. So, it's it's yeah. it's not even. It's not it's not even different uh, for me. Right. Yeah. What what what? Uh, what no, I'm sorry, sure, bro. I'm sorry. Just appreciate the work. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. I mean, cause to, to be honest, it, ever since you know we was able to 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 wear the mask off, I really didn't go too many places not wearing it. So for myself, this shit ain't really changed, but it's just mm-hmm. crazy to see, uh, you know, shit going back, man. This I don't know, man. It's uh, we we gonna have to live with this shit forever. This shit gonna right. like this mask yeah. shit ain't going nowhere. It ain't ain't going nowhere, man. So uh, we just want to get used to it. Yeah, yes, I mean, and, and that's how, to be honest, that's how, like, I think that's how Asia been for a while. I think Japan or China, they've been wearing they, masks. They've been, they like been wearing masks, bro. Like, so they knew regular. something. They knew something. Back when my yeah. first moved here years ago, bro, like, I've been seeing Asians on campus. But I, th- I thought they were doing that because wearing of the blue shit. shit. You uh, know what I'm saying? So. Probably, I mean, pro- probably, she, you know, I mean, it could, it could be a little bit of both. The whole time, was, they knew. They knew. They knew uh, all the time. Uh, they knew those. Y'all crazy. For real. I, 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 they been, they been on it. They Cause been you got to think about it, bro. Majority of the motherfucking world's smartest people reside in China. What that mean? Well, not saying? majority, but like the scientists and shit that actually work for government and shit. Or damn near everybody is stationed in in China. So what you saying? China. No, just playing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <you're trying laughs> cold. <laughs> cold emoji. No, I'm just playing. Still, uh, mm-hmm. No, I'm just playing. Though, like, I be feeling like that. Like, they knew something we didn't know. Like, I mean, shit, you, bro, you, don't shit, you don't meet too many. You don't meet too many trapped out. Hood turned out as Asians, man. Bro, I remember they, I remember, I remember it was a video came out with with the with the trap Asian guy. He he was rapping in trap, like, but he rapped he, not like, even Asian, just Chinese people in general, bro. Like he was see too many uh like he was a he was an Asian gangster, man. Hey, the Yakuza. Asian type gangster. The Yakuza man. Yeah, I mean it's just gangsters all around this motherfucker. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but like you don't really have like I'm saying, like school wise, like shit, you don't really see those kids that like a school oriented, but got some some street or some hood in them type shit. You I don't mean, see you don't see those type of Asians. Oh yeah, I don't. I'm from the south, bro. So we don't, I mean, I, we don't get too many of them. I'm from out west, nigga, and yeah, yeah, see, the west coast niggas, niggas 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 I got I got an Asian crib on me. You know what I'm saying? I I, I, I know Asian ratchet girl. You know what I'm saying? Dang it. Like get yeah, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, be like that, but you know what I'm saying. What's up, so, homie? I'm from, repping from, that. From where I'm from, you know. we don't see too many of them. So when I got here and I, I saw my first, uh, my first Chinese person smoke, smoke like a blunt, like, and it wasn't even no real blunt. It was, it was paper. Oh, you thought they don't smoke? Nah, I, I <laughs> ain't never. I'm just saying. I knew, like, you feel me? I figured, my face, everybody smoke, nigga. You feel me? I'm just saying, like, seeing that shit in person, bro, is like. Damn. I mean, shit. The dude is a whole. That shit is funny. So with you saying that, that now it, it, it don't trip me out when 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 people see not like, when people when people are yeah. looking at black people crazy because they're probably thinking like, wow, because it's how how, how you <laughs> how you are when you see Asian people smoking. It happens. That's how people are when they just see black people. You know? <laughs> like real shit. Like, <laughs> but, but, wow. but the wild shit is though. 
I'm not racial profiling. I'm just saying. No, I'm not saying you are. That's what I'm saying, though. But when nah, most not people, even that. But when most people look at black people, nigga, they already profiled us. Like, nigga, we, we already something. You feel oh, me? Shit, funny. That nigga said, wow. So, hey, I'm just saying, that was astonishing. Just me. know if you're Asian and you're smoking in front of DT, he's the one to stare. Not no more. <laughs> 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 not no more. But. Hey, I, was like, I got some sound effects I can play like little <laughs> not no more and shit but hey hey that's it I just felt like that was that was that was cool you feel me to know like I could find my blood up standing at the bus stop and, and hey the kid sitting next to me going like, hey bro, that's it he gonna look at me and get that get that uh, that hair nod type shit one time I seen the stick all the thing <laughs> yeah, yeah. wow so, <laughs> No, but no. I mean, I I get I, I kind of get what you taste saying though, like because you you like you're not used to seeing other races doing some of the things that you do, bro. And when you see it, you be like, oh shit, they do that shit too. Well, it's just because the demographics, because of where you from. Right, right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But I guess like like for myself, like because you know from 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 Colorado, Colorado like a melting pot. Like a lot of people migrate to Colorado from other places. Like right. it tends to, it seems to be like, like uh, like in the United States, with with Indiana, Colorado would be blooming to, cause you know how everybody come here to to, to try and chill out, yeah, and calm down, yeah. but the shit be still low key time, just <laughs> yeah. on the low, yeah. Like that's how Colorado is. Everybody go to Colorado to try and chill out. Like like a lot of niggas to be honest, like a lot of niggas that be out of the states, they catch bodies and wherever they from, and they go to Colorado because they like gotta hide and shit. Right, right. But then that shit still be lit as fuck out there. You know. What I'm oh, saying? oh, not to sidetrack from that. Um, I I know that was a sidetrack from the top. But speaking of Colorado, y'all seen y'all seen the um, the two cops got fired uh, from the Colorado the police. Uh, no, rural Colorado, a rural police department. Oh, uh, tell me more. Um, uh, so. Not even apparently, no. This motherfucker pistol whipped this dude. Cause okay, so it was two cops, lady man cop, lady cop. Um, I forgot the names, I forgot the names. But they had two motherfuckers, well, three motherfuckers pulled over us, saying they was trespassing. Two motherfuckers got out that jam. You know, kick rock. Be feet. Got out that jam. The right way. Be feet. The one dude though, he was on the ground. He wasn't trying to get away. He wasn't trying to get away. He was like, because he legit didn't have nothing to, you know, run yeah. run away from. Yeah. Um, he did have a warrant somewhere else, or I'm guessing in the state, you know, in Colorado. Not mm-hmm. sure what a warrant was, but he didn't know, so he was pleading, I don't have a warrant, I have a warrant. But as all this was going, the cop on top, aggressive. He, he's aggressive. Pistol whipping the man. He hit. He probably hit this dude, black man, thirteen times in the head with the butt of his gun. Pistol whipped him like this. At this point, before you before you even said black man, I mean, because I, I I know especially like nowadays that's that's really a key factor. Because uh, at that point, I it's a sense of a, a, a racial profile. At this point, however, he didn't have to say it. That's what I was about to say. That's what I was about to say. You didn't even have to say black man, bro. Um, oh, I, even 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 though I did, I understood why you interject why you interjected that, but right. just the fact mm-hmm. that, bro, they pistol whip is like no, oh you hit this man thirteen Nick, Nick, white man the, black man Asian whatever Latin nigga what they oh they they whipped it like damn thirteen times to the head. are these Crips or cops they, they some nigga gangsters. what they, they some gangsters <laughs> I can tell you that <laughs> nigga they, they gangsters. Man. And my Birdman voice, I'm I'm bouncing, nigga. Bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's got in the world, shit, man. Oh, in the world, Chris. They, they, like, my mom, what's the word, bro? Like, no. straight up gang, like, pistol whipping. Hit this man 13 times. Damn, the man had, up. um... It's fucked up. He didn't have to do that at all, yeah. Uh, somebody said that for the chat, but yeah. Uh, yeah, third, oh, for sure, yeah. The man had six stitches in his head. He, he, yeah, I'm surprised it was only that's six. That's all right. That's all he had was six, you know, with, with 13, ah. 13 hits from a banger. Bro, that's like getting hit in the head with a small weight. Like, so, guns, guns, guns be heavy. Go so, ahead. the Aurora chief, uh, she was disgusted. She was actually down there trembling 
while you know making a statement and shit like that, they fired the cops and actually arrested both cops because uh, Martinez. That was the chick name, Martinez. Uh, that I, that's the name I just, I just remember. But um, she got charged for letting it happen. You feel me? And I yeah, think that was the cop. right thing to do, bro, because why are you sitting there letting your partner beat the shit out this person? And you know it's wrong. Like, beating the shit, like, the man was showing zero threat. Like, when you, like, I can literally say this man was showing no threat at all. He wasn't showing no threat. He was listening to the cops. It's crazy because when they say, just shut up and do what the cops do, when you do that, you still either end up dead or getting a shit beat out of you. You still end up hurt, <laughs> no matter what it is, mentally or physically. You are left fucked in the head, and they literally fucked him in the head with the fucking butt of their gun. Uh, but yeah, I hope they found a lawsuit. Yeah, they I don't even think they're gonna let him file a lawsuit because he had a warrant. I don't even think they're gonna let him do that. You know, it's I mean, no, you could, could, nigga. That don't mean just because I have a warrant, don't mean beat me. But you know how the fuck? You know how the system is, bro. And, and nigga, shit, I, I'm gonna fight that shit. I'm with it. It's good ass lawyers out there. It's good ass lawyers out there. You know how the system is. They they gonna try to they gonna try to motherfucking stiff on the shit. You know, best way as possible. But if you don't fight that shit, they gonna bury you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you don't fight it, exactly, they're going to bury you and they're just going to keep doing bury, it. Bro. So, I mean, I see that they're trying to make an example out the cops and shit, which is dope. Um, and I hope they get a real example made, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, and I think that would make cops, you know, the good cops finally come up and say, like, this motherfucker was wrong and he needs to fucking pay for the bullshit that he did. I need to turn him in because if I don't, I'm getting my eyes locked up too because she didn't put it shit in her report. Martinez chick, she didn't put that shit in the report that he fucking pistol whipped this dude 13 times. That's crazy. And gave him six stitches. That's crazy. You got that from the VP? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah not for Medusa. Sure. Medusa. Yeah, I was going to grab that one. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's crazy though, man. That's um, fucked up. Yeah. Um, <coughs> um, well, yeah, that was, like I said, that was just a little, that's just even what went when, uh, when you start talking about Roy, that would make me think of that. No, for sure. That's important. Uh, that's important. I mean, that's a, that's a major story. This shit was so wild, bro. I'm like, yeah, that's come good, on, man. man. Like, bro. We, we, why why would you we need whipping this cops, shit? Man. Like, he whipping, bro. If you see the video, you would be so mad. You're going to be like, I need to call this motherfucker and tell, like, bro, I'm going to fuck. I mean, like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't I seen it bro. before. Not, not to that extent. But, mm-hmm. you know, I didn't. I done been harassed. I know those cops out there are for sure like that. Aurora police, Denver police, and like that. I mean, I done been pulled over out there on some, you know, we don't recognize your car. Like on some movie type shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, I, I don't. you know, what are you doing in this neighborhood? Like, Nigga, what? Man, that shit. Man, it's a whole city. Man. What the fuck? I can't drive through this motherfucker? What you exactly. talking about? Like, so, over there, I can go any yeah, fucking way so you can that's, go. That's, that's why I uh, it's. You know what should happen, bro? We should start giving these motherfuckers. Arrest of these uh, cops, citizens arrest. God damn it, citizens arrest. Nah, that shit ain't shit. Hell, it ain't, don't fuck it ain't around, really shit. Doing that shit. <laughs> it ain't really Man, shit. Boy. Nigga get blasted doing that it shit. It ain't really shit. What? It ain't really shit. It ain't but even worth it. The legal way, it's 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 a start. It's a push. It's a lot of starts. It's a lot of pushes. We we'll just add to the. We we'll just add to all the starts and pushes that have been mm-hmm. made, bro. Fuck mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Fuck that. I take I, I seen motherfuckers like cause I seen a lot of YouTube videos about you know shit like that motherfuckers for doing them audits and shit like that. They be like them motherfuckers bold because they they sit in a what, what videos what, what, what First Amendment audit videos when they go up to like businesses. These motherfuckers oh, would yeah. go into wild. like post offices and just start recording. Like it is an antagonizing thing. Like. Like y'all just coming up in this motherfucker to start recording shit. Y'all know y'all don't. Y'all know somebody is gonna say something about. Cause I mean, would you just be cool with a motherfucker just randomly coming up in your job and just start recording you? You gonna be like, what you doing, right? I'm like, is everybody all right? Exactly, and that's what most people do. Sometimes I, mean, I ain't before. I, I ain't gonna start tripping me personally. You mm-hmm. know. I, some people but, will, but I'm yeah. you know, is everything all right? I mean, 
That's what and that's what some people do. They'll just come up like you uh, you all like what's what's going on, man. Some of the cameramans do be dicks, but at the same time, like I I'll continue watching this shit and then like the people who work at the jobs, they dig themselves a hole because they know what these motherfuckers here to do. Just let them record and get the fuck out of their way so they can record and get the fuck out. Right. You, I, I say you approaching them is going to keep them there longer. Mm -hmm. That's just like, because if you tell somebody they can't do something, what the fuck you think they're going to do? <laughs> and a grown person at that, right. you know, who's going to, who, who stands up for their rights. Like, I'm all for standing up for your rights. You know, your amendments and shit. Like, I'm all for it, you know. Learn your shit. Definitely, hey, everybody learn your shit. Learn your rights. Learn your amendments. Learn what you can and can't do. Because a cop can't just come up and walk up to you and be like, hey, come here. Let me check your fucking pockets. No, yeah. it don't work that way. <laughs> I didn't do shit. Get the fuck out of yeah. here. Um, but it's, it's a time to do that and when not to do it. Um, but, yeah. The people... It's crazy. Like, go on YouTube and watch First Amendment Law. But definitely go on YouTube and watch the Underground Shuffle. You feel me? We live yeah. right now. Twitch, Facebook, yeah, man. and YouTube, man. And we definitely in the comments on YouTube, man. And yeah, salute to everybody out there in the YouTube land. Underground game. We all shifting over. I appreciate everybody mm -hmm. shifting over, man. Appreciate all the new, the new listeners, all that good shit. We up to like 13 people. Salute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Shout out to Pop being for following this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, uh oh. Uh, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, Yo, yeah, no, no, yeah, that's crazy because yeah, yeah, yeah. you feel me? We 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 stop we stop using Pop being services uh -huh. to. We tried to get their attention for a long time. Long time. Bro. We made, we, we tried to reach made out a song. Them. We reached out to them for a long time. We made a song included. And they did not fuck with us. And as soon as we like, you know what? We good. They like, hey guys, what's, nah, what's up? Bro. What's up, man? We got a fully guys supporting yeah, you know, the other guys. We've been supporting y'all for like two years, man. That's some bougie, you know, man. Damn the two. We, we appreciate y'all support now. <laughs> but, we, we appreciate y'all. <laughs> we appreciate y'all support. Right. Salute, Vin. Thank you for following us. Yeah. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> but uh, <laughs> we're gonna go get into these topics though, man. Uh, what we got first on the back. Shack again. Shack again. Shack. Shack. So, um, if we know everybody go up in this joint, Shack, he's actually being forced to sell his uh, minority stake in Sacramento Kings. Yeah. Mm. Uh. Yeah, because he he they say he's gonna start investing into like some betting stuff and the NBA really don't support this shit. I don't see how they really don't support it. But they said I'm gonna read I'm just gonna read the story and give y'all what the scoop say. Yeah. Uh, the story is here, sourced from Rolling Rollingout.com uh, by Michael Ice Blue Harris. Uh, story reads Shaquille O'Neal is being forced to sell his stake in the Sacramento Kings, but his investment is still a success. The NBA Hall of Famer has been a minority owner of the Sacramento Kings since 2013 when he bought 2 to 4% stake in the franchise, according to the Forbes. The shrewd businessman invested $5 million in the team, which was worth, about, was worth around $530 million at the time. The Kings are now worth $1.8 billion, and the former L.A. Lakers can now sell his portion for at least $11 million. Okay, I mean, Somebody. he won't be losing money. He he he, he made he actually made he six. made what he spent. He, so, he made he made six million. All right, so you know, hey, um, O'Neal's always making power plays in the business arena, and his latest endorsement deal with Winebet. Yeah, so that's that's what it is. Uh, Winbet, I'm sorry, Winbet clashes with the NBA's policy of not allowing owners and players to have any stake in gambling websites. O'Neal would be a brand ambassador for Winbet and his new position. He will be giving his strategic advice while also promoting the gambling website services. O'Neal is on the ground floor of the latest business betting wave and is expected to make even more money over time with his deal and the sale of the team would add, will add an even more capital to his investment portfolio. So, 
He not a loser. He he, he not Marley seven seventy three. He not loser. Uh, I'm sure you're not losing. You feel me? So he he spent five. He made what he made put six. in and made six. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. on top of that, with the investment he partaking in, he's gonna make hella more, more money because more. The, uh, band is becoming st- like gown is is really becoming legal in a lot of states. Mm-hmm. Indiana here is, is definitely one of them. They definitely indulge into in the betting thing because um, I've did a few, I did some betting on um, FanDuel and stuff like that. Um, I mean that's what's up. Shaq, he's doing his thing, man. The man is is a legit <coughs> businessman. Like he he definitely had a plan after basketball. He had several plans. That that was the yeah. thing. Shaq Shaq was. Or is uh, extremely intelligent, and that's what niggas don't don't realize. Like while he was hooping, he was doing shit. Like you know, mm-hmm. he went and got his doctor's degree. He went yep. and became a motherfucking sheriff. Um, this nigga went and got his law degree. Man, uh, you know what I'm saying? And then he just you know got the he, he's fucking with TNT, and so I mean just out you know he he, he was a, he's a really smart dude. So he he always gonna be making power moves, and he always gonna make a the, the best move for him. Um, especially uh, financially, you know what I'm saying. Shaq got that peg. He got a good team around him. He always has. Um, you know, it's just like this nigga. This nigga get around with everything. I mean, he get around with everything. Everything like you know he got his. Like he got his motherfucking. You know, he 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 do it all. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah, for real, like it, it's crazy, man. Cause like Shaq, you gotta you gotta you gotta give it to him, man. This man is is just making. Fucking move by move by move. I, I didn't even know he was a partial owner in uh, the Sacramento Kings. Yeah. And that's like that's another that, that's another thing mm-hmm. that that I mean as far as like he get away with everything because like, um, you know during his career he's been part of like what seven eight teams. Oh shit, he's been part of like seven eight teams. <laughs> so um, you know he he do he he did his fair ring chasing, and nobody has ever said anything. You know these players now when they do their ring chasing. It's a whole bunch of problems. Um, Shaq, uh, I, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, as 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 we see, he it was a, was a partial owner in the Sacramento Kings. Mm-hmm. Nobody's ever said anything about that. The mm-hmm. one way he becomes a partial owner of the uh, Utah Jazz, and mm-hmm. it was like an uproar. They're like, "Oh, you're not loyal, and you are loyal." I didn't even know that until one of the Jazz games. I seen him out there. You feel me? I just thought he was, you know, there, right. you know, right. out there supporting his colleagues and shit, his homies and shit right. like that, right. hooping. But they were like, yeah, Dwayne Wade, you know, you guys are you know, a little part owner into the, you know, the Utah Jazz. I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he, 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 made, he made this little move and shit. Oh, yeah. But like, it, yeah. Because well, it, ha- it happened not too long ago. Um, yeah. And like I said, it was. Doing his thing. It was damn near an uproar. You know what I'm saying? They were saying, oh, why wouldn't he do that? Why wouldn't he purchase some, you know, stake in Miami and blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, well, because he why didn't want to. Why nobody said that about Shaq? Like, maybe he didn't want to. <laughs> like, did right, did, did Larry leader. Bird ever play for Indiana? Um, yeah, or how all like the Pacers? No, but he's from Indiana. Yeah, he's from here, and then he went to um uh Indiana State University. Mm-hmm. And and I mean, he played for Celtics. You know, his what whole career? <sighs> I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, he played for. I mean, I would think he would put his money into the Celtics before the Pacers. I mean, even though he's from Indiana, but. You know, he could have did the Colts. You feel me? He could have did, you know, what he did do the Pacers. You know, he could have did any. He could have did the IU team or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But he didn't do a lot. Like I, said, I would think he would have did it with Boston since he played with them. He'd been to one championship mm-hmm. and, you know, made the most bread with them. Um, but, hey, you know, he, he did what he had to do, shit. Yeah, like motherfuckers yeah, motherfuckers yeah, making moves. Yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And, and speaking of fucking yeah. bread moves. And, and, all my what's up, and Shaquille O'Neal. God damn it. He's still in the tub. Shit, this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shaquille, he, he, he doing it all. I think I'll fall, bro. I ain't gonna fall. Ain't no water in that bitch. Like, I'm gonna get I'm, I'm I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it up and running too for us. The hooga smoke and all that hooga. <laughs> but yeah, uh but yeah, Shaq, 
Like so you gotta give it up to Shaq, man. He always, he always got his motherfucking hand in in some fucking honey pot because his motherfucking yeah. his hands are sticky. Hey, sponsor me. I mean, I'm yeah. with it. I'm with it. Get on hey, your, get on your entrepreneurial shit, dog. I'm with it. Mm-hmm. So that's what we about. We all about um, black people doing their motherfucking thing. Yeah. Um, say like, because a lot of people. Don't really a lot of a lot of black people don't get a lot of recognition for a lot of the shit they do. Right. So speaking of shit, we 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 gonna talk about it. Right. Shit. Yeah, just yeah. like just like we can talk about Shaquille O'Neal. We going bad side. Because well, niggas, you bad. say the bad side. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the bad side. Hey. Hey. Who? I'm going to hop in. I, I actually got a slide out. I'm the guy on the slide. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be back on Saturday. You know, I'm already done. Nigga said bad side. Y'all be smooth. Let's start that conversation back up. Yeah. You feel me? Nah, for real though, bro. That shit, wow. I, I'm shocked. I'm appalled. But now this story real good took me out though. I can't. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> but yeah, man, Shaq. Shaq, Shaq and some 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 Shaq being a bully right now. You know, Shaq he on some other shit. Um But no, no, um so, you know, he, Shaq has going, uh, try to, he pretty much going in on, uh, yeah, what's Dennis question? Schroeder. Gen- Dennis Schroeder, what did it say? Uh, uh, this story is, uh, from sportscasting.com, uh, by Luke Norris. And it's actually, uh, published on August 11th, 2021. Today. Today, Craig? Present day news. You feel me? Uh, but yeah, the story goes on to read. After turning down a four-year, eighty-four million dollar offer, <laughs> whoa! Let it set. I there. mean, damn! I'm like, gonna read it again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Shit, crazy. After turning down a four-year, eighty-four million dollar offer. To remain with the Los Angeles Lakers. Damn, Schroeder, come on. I mean, shit, bro. Like, I know, I know, you know, I get, you know, betting on yourself, but, but man, bro, now nah, this was a bad fumble. I mean, I, it's crazy. Hold on, before we get the pot, you want to keep going? Uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, read the story, go do your thing. Dennis Schroeder didn't get the big money offer he was looking for, and was forced to settle for for a one million dollar for a one for a one year deal with the Boston Celtics that will pay him roughly five point nine million. And as you can imagine, he's been getting torched for his decision, and not just by random folks on social media. Several NBA analysts and former players have jumped in on the action, and the latest to do so was someone who knows a thing or two about big money deals. Mm, mm, mm. And about, oh shit, and it's, boy, they taking shots. And it said about Laker and Celtic uh, basketball. Shaquille O'Neal. Damn. Damn, Shaq. Yeah, that shit crazy. Damn, Shaq. Come on, bro. So pretty much Shaq was clowning. They say Shaq was clowning uh, Dennis Schroeder for um, pretty much fumbling the bag, man. Like, I I, I mean, like, that's that's definitely a bad fumble because, I like, like I said, I get, I get, you feel me? Uh, yeah, because uh, what he do? 
Uh, he was actually in the final season of his four-year, $70 million rookie extension he signed with the Atlanta Hawks back in 2016. And $84 million was the maximum amount the Lakers could offer huh? given that contract. But Shit, you got to think about who else is on the team. This nigga tripping. Like, not, and, and that's the crazy part, bro. He was getting more than... Everybody the fuck else they picked up and they right. got a dream team right now. Bro. Like I mean like oh, 84, 84 for four years. I mean I mean you gotta think like what's what's that? I mean I I'm, I'm not I'm not a fucking math witch. Somebody put, it, somebody put it in the comments. You ain't even gotta know the math. 84, that, that's, t- 84 times four. Bro, that's, that's put that's it in the comments. Uh, so we can get we can get the comments from over there. They gonna say we bring it over there. But yeah. Uh I mean, for four years, that was, Bruh. that was decent, but that was good. De- what? Decent, that, was, that was good. Decent, that was good. I feel like that was good you for. Decent, oh shit. I feel like that was good, and I'm and oh, who can't? Who can't? It's, it's dude. Oh, I'm not. We don't even use that mic. We use it from the camera up there. But yeah, I'm pretty sure they has good. Uh, but yeah, man, no, for real. Dennis Schroeder, uh, yeah. 84 for four years, like you was guaranteed 84, you know, for 44 years and shit like that. But now, you feel me, motherfuckers ain't offering shit. But Boston, they offer you a 5.9 million one year contract. I mean, now, because you got to go through free agency again, I think he gonna do, I think he gonna fall into that Rondo phase, bro. Bro, that's 21 million dollars a year. 21 a year. 21 a year. Twenty-one million dollars a fucking 21 year. Twenty-one a year. That's that's more than f- six. Bro, stop playing with me. Bro. Uh, but I mean, like I say, I, I get betting on yourself. I get you feel me you gambling on yourself. You 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 won't you I mean, won't what's best you think. Like that. I mean, that's that's only that's only him. You know, he 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 know his worth, and he feel like he worth a hundred million. So, I mean, hey, why uh, not? Why not? Yeah. No. Negotiate your contract. I mean, that's only that's only right. That's what the NBA. He wasn't getting did. no more than what, bro, what, what else are you gonna make? These niggas got mellow. These niggas got like dream team. Like this I is mean, a but dream team. After signing all of them, they only paying all them players. That's what I'm I saying. think it was like seven or eight people, but that's only fifteen million going out to all of them players. Right. Like, that's nothing. That's right. really nothing compared to what they was paying. He's he was getting tripping. more than all of them combined. He's tripping. But I do understand. And I get like you trying to get your own notoriety, which you do have, cause you took the smart route the first fucking time when you signed seventy fucking million for four years. So, I mean, <clears throat> like, I, I mean, come on, bro. I mean, I don't, I 